I wish we could do this tomorrow when the trade call is done, but uh, we all know the rules. Um, I can't. I can't really comment. Um, we we did something that I can't comment on. <laughs> so, were you surprised by the amount of, let's say, rumored activity throughout the week? Uh, yeah, you know, like it's 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 weird with the with the trade deadline where you can you we we all get caught up and you know like uh, while working the phones and, and doing all kinds of stuff you know like and uh, not nothing like really significant got done you know like uh, but uh, it's always like a tedious time you know like because you are really trying to see um, what makes sense for your team and. Um, what makes sense in terms of uh, on our side what's uh, what's good for our team now and the future uh, so um, that that played a part into uh, kind of the little thing that we did and um, I think a lot of the stuff that we saw are things that maybe we can do in the summer uh, so uh, why change it here a little bit uh, now and obstruct a little bit. I think um, one of the purpose of leaving it up till now is see how we do and give the young guys a platform maybe and you know like not take that platform away because we want to know who they are and what they can do. Uh, so uh, I don't know if that makes sense. Some of the deals that you know like we're coming about we, we figured that in the summer we can if we need to do those deals Maybe we could uh, pull them off in the summer. How hard was it to sort of assess where you assess the project, basically? Uh, and, you know, third in the conference, maybe higher than a lot of people would have thought. So, mm -hmm. how hard was that to weigh? And again, you know, your mandate, which is to build a winner for years to come. Yeah, it's it's tough, you know, like because you look at you look at the. Th um, uh, third place team. I think our guys have played ha hard. I think we do have some uh, good young talent on the team. And then on the other side, you also look at uh, some people call it like a not so good Eastern Conference. Um, um, uh, tons of players injured. You know, like how do you uh, how do you judge or how do you evaluate? We are focused on our team and and. Uh, internally, what we see uh, as these young guys growing and getting getting better, uh, that's what we want, really wanted to concentrate on and how uh, how well they do. Um, whether it's Kyle Lowry, whether it's Terrence Ross, JV, um, uh, Demar Derozan. So um, you can see that in the, you add a couple pieces or you add something, then it's going to take away playing time from somebody or it's going to take away something from somebody, you know, like, and then that kind of sets you, it, does, it doesn't set you back much, you know, like, but it, these these guys are going to, I think, go in there and compete now and uh, we'll see, we'll see how well they do. Should, should this team take, take almost as a weight off their shoulders knowing now that this is uh, they know that this is them. I think it, it's it's a they, this trade deadline. As much as we all say and players and we in front front office or coaches, they, it's that date that is there. You know, like and it, it does weigh on you. It weighs on everybody. You know, like everybody. There's anxiety. You know, people are um, uh, people are wondering. You know, like what's going to happen. Um, so. Um, it's gone, it's gone, you know, like, and now it's, it's play, everybody plays a little bit more free, you know, and, uh, and they kind of figure at least, you know, we're here for um, another few months or, you know, like for, for the future, but um, I think it is uh, as much as we all, as tough as we all try to be, you know, like me included, you know, like the, the trade deadline is a date that I think is significant for everybody. Obviously, you know, like we didn't do anything with Kyle because we we we, we view him, you know, like uh, um, uh, highly in this in this organization. And I think Kyle has 
um, has is playing his part, um, and uh, we're going to stay on Kyle. Um, he's uh, met with his agent yesterday, you know, and um, I think um, I think there's I think there's good progress in in Kyle's growth uh, here. Um, yeah, people are going to say it's a contract year. They are going to say, but uh, in my opinion, the kid has played all out, and you know he's he's uh, he's given it his all. You know, like and uh, Kyle has adjusted. You know, like um, we we set um, some good rules. You know, like and and had good talks with him. You know, like he was upfront with us, and we were upfront with him in in the beginning of the season and. Uh, he lived up. He's living up his part, you know. Like, and I think uh, we've lived up our part too, you know. Like, and that's how you build, um, I think, partnerships. And we'll see how he grows. As as Kyle proven that he's a he's a starting point guard in the NBA. Uh, I would say yes. Uh, has he proved that he's a top 15 starting point guard in the NBA? I would say yes. He was a borderline All Star this year. Our challenge now to Kyle is, uh, can you continue to be that and play at that level uh, uh, now and uh, for the future? So uh, I think he's up for the challenge, and uh, he's been he's been fun to work with so far. So far. How much of the uh, uncertainty of like Kyle? You, you don't know. We're sitting here right now. You don't know going forward where he where he fits in because you don't know what's going to happen come the end of the year. But how much of that is yeah, I know where he fits in. You know, like he fits in as a starting point guard in the NBA. You know, like and it, I think there are things that Kyle needed to work on. You know, like and I think he's 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 worked hard. You know, like in in, in getting to that place. You know, like so. Um, yeah, that all that uncertainty and you know, like uh, uh, to be honest, when we made the trade uh, a couple months ago, you know, like uh, we looked at it. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm a genius. I knew that okay, it's going to go this way. You pray and hope for chemistry, you know, like and uh, I think we found it a little bit. And um, at that point, we said we were going to give the. the um, uh, this player is a platform, and hey, they would dictate kind of where we go, you know. Like, and I think to be fair, you know, like uh, we've also tried to live up to our part of the of the bargain here, and and uh, they have too, you know. Like, uh, they are growing. It's not we haven't arrived by any means. We're not. Uh, we're going to keep keep striving here, but uh, we thought it could have gone either way, uh, and we were prefer prepared for both both ways. Talk at all maybe to this to not maybe to stay completely quiet today to in fear of maybe disrupting the, the chemistry that's that's built with this this team this year the way they've turned things around. It's all it's all for us and our positions, you know, like it's always tough to, to, to stand pat, you know, like it's it's uh um it's very uh there are things that are tempting, you know, like, and you, you, you do the exercise of, you know, like, uh, in your mind, on paper, you know, like, you try to picture it. You don't know until it, until it's actually like, uh, put in there, and and they begin to play. Uh, so when you have like, kind of the chemistry you have now, you know, like, again, we haven't done anything, you know, like we can improve our team, but sometimes when you want to do stuff. Then maybe it's you're yeah, taking on a three year deal and you don't want that, you know, like it helps you now, but you know, how does it uh, help you after this year? Uh, you have to think about all this stuff. So, yes, it was tough uh, uh, to kind of uh, measure all that, uh, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, like uh, we knew going in that we would be comfortable if we did something little or um, even if we did something big, we knew that. Uh, we had to be comfortable with it.